Good evening, I'm Dana Tyler. And I'm Don Daler. Fighting back with a shotgun and compassion. A shop owner on Long Island managed to turn a would-be bandit into a beggar. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan tells us the story of a holdup that ended with a handout. When a baseball bat burglar threatened bodily harm, deli owner victim Mohammed Sohail unexpectedly turned the tables and pulled out a shotgun. Empty. It's empty, yes. It no bullets this time, but the desperate thief didn't know as security cameras rolled, catching every second of this incredible crime. Uh, give me your all money. I say, hold on, drop the weapon, get down. He suddenly surrendered, down on his knees, blubbering and sobbing like a baby. He's begging, crying. I'm sorry, I have no money, I have no food. Try, you have no job. I have no, you know, my family is hungry. He's really crying. I have no money, please don't call police, he's afraid to the police. So here has a soft heart for a man down on his luck. He'd struggled in the past, too. Mohammed Sohail struck a deal with a crying crook. He told him to promise never to rob anyone again. With that, Sohail pulled 40 bucks out of the cash register and threw it at the thief. You see, I money, throw the money right there. And then something remarkable happened. No, he said, I want to be a Muslim just like you. I said, you sure about that? You want to be Muslim just like me? I said, put your hand up. They shook hands on the oath. He then told the burglar to help himself to bread and milk. When Sohail turned to open the cooler, the thief, perhaps worried that his luck had run out, turned and fled. I've known Mo for a long time, man, and uh, he's, a good, he's a good guy, man. Now what if this guy comes back now? You can't live in fear. You hope that you've made some kind of permanent effect on this robber? I, wanna, I hope uh, the guy, you know, learning, listening, what I did for him, so I hope he be a nice person on this community. I... The unknown thief gone. Direction unknown. Mohammed Salal put down the milk. He'd already decided not to press charges. On Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News. And when the suspect took off without the milk, but with the bat, the bread, and forty dollars, Mohammed Sohail called 911. But he told responding officers he did not want to file a complaint.